Dakota wants balanced scoring, and UND, I think, wants to make South Dakota one-dimensional in terms of they want to limit all the supporting cast. If Stanley Mude gets going, that's okay. But if they only have one or two players in double figures, I think UND likes their chances. Here is a Mude. Preseason player in the... Well, this game is just full of interesting matchups. Mude here with the steal and the highlight reel flush. Around five boards a night, seventh in the conference. USD, meanwhile, up near the top of that standings. Our rebounding people by five boards a game, second in the summit. 9-4 our score early. Amude, tough take, in traffic, able to ride the con. Up to 26, so that number's trending up. Wouldn't surprise me to see him end the year as a scoring champion in the conference. He's got four. Formula that UND needs to stay in this game with South Dakota. They're going to have to knock down some shots. They're going to have to shoot it from behind the arc at a high clip. And so far, they're taking the right shots, and they're making them. UND hits about seven threes a game, fifth in the conference. They've got four already. Amude, though. And one. Ends in the opener today, but a game that was a one point margin of lead way down on the stretch before the Coyotes hit their free throws. Game two between the men will take place at 2.30 tomorrow as well. All those games you can watch live on Nitro SN. But UND likes that matchup and they're going to continue to go through it. And for USD, I think everything needs to run through Stanley Amude. Not a smart guy, but I know that giving the ball to him and the conference's best player at this point is a great way to jumpstart your offense if you've struggled just like that. A nice wall. Saving seems come back a little earlier than the average player with three fouls. Something for Paul Sather and this North Dakota staff to figure out. Racha gets it stripped away by Amude. Now Ethan Igbonigo keeping it going for UND. His triple of the day, he's got nine. Largest lead of the afternoon for either team now. Fuller, by the way, had 15 points in the first meeting between these two. The only other Coyote to score in double figures in that loss to North Dakota. The just don't have a whole lot of players that can match up with Stanley Moody. Looks like Phil Pabracha has drawn that assignment now, but outside of that, it's going to be him. It's super good. Wide open, and he's going to knock those down. A miss on the other end for North Dakota. A chance for the Coyotes to get a little closer. Amude right at Rabracha. Tough finish on the reverse. That probably doesn't happen as much as Cody would like. See the numbers there, Ramude, another double double for the season. South Dakota not going away. Both of these teams lighting it up from deep here in the second half. It's four for four from behind the arc. North Dakota six for eight after halftime. So South Dakota was in man to man that first possession out of that timeout. Now they're back into the zone. Rabracha stripped away by Amude. Now in double figures, and he has another double-double, his 18th of his career. 10 points, 10 boards for the junior. 8-0 run for the Fighting Hawks. Amude inside, able to end that. Amude now to the free-throw line. He is 6 of 7 from there today. An 82% free-throw shooter on the season. Problem, USD is also going small as well. Amude gets them both. 